Okay, my last video in this series for Chapter 8 in your Photoshop book is masking. I'm going to start out with the simplest. I have this image here. It's one that we worked in the last video with, only I flattened it. And I have a lot of yellow and a lot of blue. There's two ways I can do this. I think I will do the first way, the best way that I know. Okay, I will actually go to select color range because I have, uh, let's, uh, um, let's uh, click on invert anyway to choose what I don't want and then when I say okay I'll do selection and I'll do fuzziness down here so that you can see. Okay, I'll select what I don't want and that's going to be black because I've got this inverted. You can select what you don't want. Remember, sometimes it's easier to select what you don't want. Okay, now if I had gone like this back here, it would have chosen a lot of the blue in the bottle, but I don't. I want to keep that because I want to isolate this spot, these bottles. So I will go with my fuzziness back this way, maybe up a little. Okay, there's going to be a little blue in the bottle, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, and I'm going to go okay. So, I've got what I do want, except I don't want that, but I'll show you what I'll do in a minute. And here's what I do want. Now, some of the blue in the bottle didn't get selected, but we're going to get back to that. The quickest way to do a layer mask is just on the Layers panel, click down here next to the effects, and it will create a layer mask. And there it is. Now, it's still, I don't want this. If I go to the channels panel, here's my layer mask. Let's see if I can get there. Ah, now remember the last video on a mask. Now see, I, the layers mask shows up in the channels. So I turn the eyeball off on this, turn the eyeball on this one, because when you came there, it looked like this. So I'm going to turn the eyeball on that, click on that layer, turn the eyeball off on the RGB. Now, I don't want what's cooking, and I don't want the, uh, I don't want what's cooking, but I do want what's in here that the blue didn't get selected. So what I will do, remember, we can paint with black and white. Let's first paint with black. So I've got white in the foreground, black there, so I'll hit X to get the black. And I will just, uh, I want it to add 100%. I will just wipe it out. Now, I will drop my brush smaller, much smaller. Uh, maybe not that small. And I will go up here for my brush. I don't want a real soft brush. I want it about 75%, somewhere in there. That's important. Now, let's, up. Uh, let's go Command Z. Hit X to get the white. And now let's just paint in here. And I think I can get this one. Now I'll do the bracket keys, get my brush smaller. Get these. Now see in the handle, it partially did not get parts of the handle. Okay, get some of the handle. And I think this, let me look at here a minute. Ah, yes, I do want this. This is part of another bottle. How you can check is just turn this eyeball on here. And I think I've got most of my bottle. I think I do. Okay, there's something else you can do with these bottles. You can actually run a filter. I'll go uh, filter, blur, and I'll do just a little bit of a Gaussian blur to smooth the edges, not that much, but just a touch to smooth the edge because it was kind of jagged. Here's the edge before with little jaggies and I've smoothed it. Now, let's go back to layers. Let's turn these on. Let's go back to layers. Ah, first of all, let's turn this one off. Now let's go back to layers. And there's our bottles.
There's our bottles. They're selected outside of the background. And there they are. That's the simplest. You saw me create a selection with the color range because there was distinctive yellows and uh, blue. Not all images will do very well on that. And then I create a layer mask with this button right down here at the bottom of the layers panel. But then to refine it, I went to channels, turn the eyeball on that and the eyeball off on that. And I did just, and I white, uh, painted with white what was missing. And I painted with black the text that was up here. And then I blurred it just a little bit. And there you have it. Ah, first let's turn this eyeball off. And there you have it for the simplest mask. Okay, for the last segment of this video, we're going to do a little more advanced masking. I have this picture. It's my grand, one of my granddaughters at the beach this summer. And I uh, put a watermark on it. And underneath it, there's also a blue layer. What I want to do is get this selected and get her selected so that I can put both of those on a new layer. So first of all, let's do the easiest selection. Be on layer one and I'll get the, the elliptical marquee and I'll feather it about five pixels. And I will, and I'm going to show you how to transform a selection too. So that's not going to do all of it because uh, the, uh, the D is a little out of it. So you can go to Select, Transform. Remember last lesson we transformed an object? You can transform a selection too. So I'll bring this out a little. I'll raise it up a little. I'll bring this uh, down a little. The D is still not there too much. Well, that's probably a little too far out. Um, I can move this over just a touch. Ah, wait a minute. Pretty sure I can. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, I think the D will be out there pretty good if I can do it just a touch more. There we go. Now if I like it, I hit return. So there's a selection. Now the book talks about us being able to save a selection. I could do it as a layer mask, but then it'd delete everything else on here. So I don't want to do that. I just want to save this selection. So what you do is you go save, or uh, select, save selection. And I'm going to name it um, copy right notice. Okay. And it's a new, and it'll also create a new channel. I could cha save it as a layer mask, but I don't want to. I want it a new, as a new channel. And I will go OK. Now let's take a look in the channels panel. Uh, let's go Command D to D select. Let's in, look in the channels panel. There it is. And there it is. That's what will show up if I select that selection. OK. Now. Let's go back to layers. Now we've got to select her. I think I'm going to use the quick selection tool on her. This is Alyssa. And I will try to get all of her head and her little braces and her little uh, swim, swim top. Get her arm, get all these little flowers on her little swim top. Okay, get all those little flowers. Get her black hair. She has beautiful black hair, or dark brown hair. And I'm getting a little more than I need. But do you know what? Be sure I get all of this. Okay, okay. I made a little boo-boo right in here, but I'll fix that. We'll go into the selections. And there's a little more there than I want, and up here maybe. And I might not have gotten all of that. But I did get her braces. Ah! Let's hold the Option key and get rid of this that accidentally got selected. Okay, there's some stuff over here that accidentally got selected. So I'm holding the Option key and undoing some of the selection. 
because I accidentally got it. But that's close enough. Now, this is how I make a channel, an alpha channel. That's also a saved selection. And I go to the channels, go to the bottom, and click here, Save Selection as Channel. Now I can actually double click it and write uh, Alyssa on it. Okay. Now, let's turn this eyeball on. Ah, I missed some of her suit there. I missed this flower here. Ah, look at all the white there that I missed. And up here, that's not good. That's not good. So, here's what I will do. I will actually turn on this channel. First of all, let's turn off the RGB. Remember, I can paint with black and white. So, I've got white in the foreground. I want to paint with white. And let's use the bracket key to get my brush bigger. And I know this... Wait a minute. Oh, go Command D to deselect. Okay, so I'm going to paint all that. Now, let me turn the eyeball on the for the RGB. Now I need to paint with black. Wait a minute. Okay, I need to paint with black now, over here around her head. And I'm going to get her ear. Let me go down with this brush a little and get around her neck. Now, sometimes these, these masks take longer to do. I have spent hours on a mask. I can go Command plus plus to zoom in, hold the, the um, space bar, come around here. Ah, now you can see what I've got to do. And get her ear. Like I say, this could take some time. And let's get my brush even tinier to get in here. Now let me go X to get white. I don't want to get any of this hair. Ah, do you notice that there's a little bit of white showing through there? Well, let's hold the uh, space bar. Let's move on down. Ah, see this area? Let's uh, make my brush a little bigger. And, oh, it's got to make a uh, go X to get black. Okay, I'm actually painting on the mask. See, I'm right here on this la mask layer, this alpha mask. Let's get this. Ah, I made a mistake on her arm. So let's go X. Let's get her arm back there. That's her arm. Okay. Now let's go X again and get rid of this. Get rid of this. Here's her arm. I know it's taken a while. Okay. Let's go out. Command. Uh, minus minus. Let's see if there's anywhere else. Ah, there is like right down here. There's some on her arm over here. And I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's turn this off. That's pretty good. There's a little bit of her hair. Do you know what? I'm going to paint with X again. Not get that strand of hair because it looked kind of funny. Now, that smoothed out that. Now, this uh, selection's already saved. So let's turn it off. Now, I have two saved selections. If I want to, here I am on my layers. I'm on layer one. Okay, if I were to want to make, do the selection for the copyright notice, all I have to do is hold the command or control key on the PC, click on the icon for this alpha channel, copyright, and it makes a copyright one. If I want to do the selection for Alyssa, click that, it does the one for Alyssa. So, you can actually uh, call up these selections. These are saved. You can close this file, 
save this file or close it, open it again, and these selections will be here in the channels panel. Now, let me show you another way, Command D, that the book talks about. You can actually go to select load selection. And here's where the names of the selections are. I can load the copyright and go OK and it's there. And I can also go select load again, load selection, and add to it the Alyssa and go OK. Now they are both selected. Uh-oh, I notice I missed some of Alyssa's arm. Let's go Command D. Let's go back to her arm. Her arm, I cut some of her arm off. So we got to paint with white. So it's black now, X. Let's go paint some of her arm back. There's her arm. Okay, now let's go back up to the layer. So that was one way of selecting them. Ah, well, let's turn this eyeball off. Okay, that was one way of selecting it. The other way is hold the command key, select this icon. I think we can hold the shift key and select that one too. And they're both selected. Now let me go to the layers panel and let me move those selections to a new layer. To do that, you have to have a selection. If you hold Command or Control on the PC and hit J, the selection shows above. And there it is. There it is. Now I have Alyssa and the copyright notice on one layer. If you don't believe me, there it is. There it is. So let me turn. Here's what we started with. And we made these selections and saved them. And then we, uh, oh, and then what we did was we did hold the command or control key, click that one, hold the shift key, click this one. Got the two selections together. That's easier than going up to select, load selection a couple of times. And then we did command J, and she appeared right up there. That's more about advanced selections. It's also how to load selections, how to save selections as alpha channels. You notice I don't have any layer masks here. The alpha channels, the alpha channels are actually alpha masks. The, they're called alpha masks, but that's where we save selections. And there you have it. Now, your lesson is to do something similar to this for the project that has to do with uh, selections.